was apprehended around 2045 hours that same night, leading to the arrest of other accomplices. The holding place of the victims was subsequently surrounded just before 5 a.m. this morning, and by 5.15 a.m., the joint team had breached the premises with the hope of rescuing the women. Gunshots were fired from within the premises, but the brief we have is that it took about 25 minutes to complete this operation. At the end of the operation, the two Nigerians who were holding the women had been subdued, and a third Nigerian believed to be the leader of the gang was arrested later at a separate location. At the end, and currently, five Ghanaians and three Nigerians are in custody for this incident. One of the suspects is reported to have sustained minor injuries. Other investigations and possible arrests are still ongoing. The victims have been flown to Accra, are currently in Accra. They have been in contact with the Canadian authorities and are undergoing the necessary evaluations following a traumatic incident like this. Preliminary indications that we have is that they are fine. Our thanks go to the Ghana Police Service, particularly the CID and the Ashanti Regional Police Command. Our thanks go to Defense Intelligence, to the Bureau of National Investigations, and to the Special Weapons and Tactics Unit and other units of the National Security Council Secretariat, some of which we may not mention at this point in time. We also want to thank the media who, in the first hours of this incident, when the security agencies reached out and asked for a blackout in the first hours to enable the preliminary works to take place, which has led to this successful um, uh, operation, the media houses that uh, supported and uh, complied, we want to say a very big thank you to you. Now, we further urge the media, commentators, and the public to avoid speculation, to be circumspect in their commentary as well, as there are ongoing operations on similar matters that could be compromised depending on the kind of commentary that people rush to put out there. May I repeat that? The security agencies want to urge the media commentators and the public to avoid speculation and be circumspect in their commentary as there are ongoing operations on similar matters that could be compromised depending on the kind of um, commentary that is put out there. Ghana's security agencies continue to assure the general public, including Ghanaians and potential travelers, that Ghana is safe and they have what it takes to deal with any criminal enterprises that may spring up in the country. This is a brief we have for you. We are very grateful. I'll do a quick tree translation like we always do, and then if there are a few questions, we'll take it. Bambu Ku Batai National Security, ADNIM, Emma Operation B, Ekoso, or Ashanti Region, Akoso Batai National Security, DNIM, Emma Operation B, Ekoso, or Ashanti Region, Akoso Bay, and Nakakra, na and Nahumachin Bay, no, no, and we are here. Operation no CID, BNI. SWAT are a national security and a defense intelligence and a Omokabu Muyesa operation. No, Ubi and Fiaman on it and Bamba Boa or Mosa operation now on Muyeno. Ebekaya June died to so nine and a Mayua Mienubi. I fi Canada if a bonfa um see a Ewa Shanti region. Now, Fitis Am Reno, um, Bambo Juma and Foni na Ebo Homodia Juma Sonsa Ebeka. And come on, did you see that? Sebi Omo Bejina Radio soon back a cani in Arno, in Tino, or any acquainted whom baby are. I was so many women now, or Mosaka Sani Pabon for the Nanami Adam or Mosaka Sam by your amino. And run you may bear no soon, and Omo kind, etch any power de kind. A what Sasem was saying. Bear no clung, 
echi ho na nipa ba ko a o ka ho a o mo ta de no o mo nsaso ni mu e bi gana ni a no ka ho a o ji sa ni pa bonfo we ma o mba bi ti a no mo di sa bon we e wo mpota mo ho no be no ndu echi e na o mo nsa ka no e na ajo en to ma e mo be no num apey no na be bi o mo de sa e ma yo mienu akwa ko she no um, joint security team no fiti national security police the uh, ashanti regional police command na ometwa ho nyina ehi um beye no num echi be 15 am e na omufi ase e ebu de e wose omu apon e wose ombu ni ade na um, omu ro mpoto kasi mo mbeka breach the premises beye 5:15 am e tu to kakra e ko so ho but in be 25 minutes no gana security in penny for na yes operation no more yeah um we are no nigeria for me no ah na any man no a word them who are umkru kru to jina man so no um sa ekom bako um ipra kakra bako no priya nye no um em mami no no so no um bambo for no sa kaum ah sabri ya mine mokase modu oma babi do nkraya there was a red doctor for so I'm here no more money at the home home say be a coach money at the home who say I am with you my Canadian embassy no so any one more AD and come ever and I say come a Ghana police teacher who CID Ashanti Regional Police Command and intelligence Bureau of National Investigations and a special ones and tactics unit a homophy national security any other units were national security be a into me move the I said, "Ena a comma um." I said, "That's a comma." Ghana media for a fourth no security for no eto monkrase mama assembling a din kakra infitsiye no na omuntu minye preliminary investigation biya umbe. I'm said, "Dudu na di e jumanti." I'm said, "Na di chinye no ansana ansemne ba basa apio no omuntu mi inya kwanye niyama ne wose omuya abmane dia ekos inye na yaswati." Na security for the science review say media for one of my church or my dream media for platform from commentators and some of you know a band of security in some who now you can you see about track a crack now you can also be interested in a become a son say sabri a year casano operations a whole door air to a and also for far and same bit to say you know a casaka be brianna say you can be brisa ya chiwi wa hai ya chiwi wa hasi ya would bro be a catch the cry and run on what yeah no no so a journey said me the can king can ye or more chicken yeah mod who the world in tea money to me cause you yeah into a most stress said yeah cow anymore more you know you know yeah 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 um na we are going to use open so to come back and now near russia musa security agencies no uh omu sekura the also omu chrome na ghana uh your bambo no it's an asshole so in english and in tree this is the brief that we have if there are questions i'll be happy to take them now and then we will um wrap up where's the microphone please yeah there are two hands up here there are two hands up here. Good afternoon. My name is Kojo Hagan, Adam FM. Uh, please, there are some sessions of Ghanaians saying the police has placed much effort and attention in rescuing the Indian more than that the Tadi girls. They are saying that the IGP was in Kumasi during the weekends. But when the Tadi issue happened, the IGP has not been there. So to know the update on the Tadi. I want to find out the location where they were arrested. I want to know the health condition of the victims and whether they are in the hospital. Then where and when would the culprit be put before court and the charges that will be preferred against them? Thank you. You said you want to know the location, the situation, and then when the, yeah, and then when the persons will be put before court. Okay, yes, sir. My name is Nana Poku from Daily Satellite. Um, Honorable Minister for uh, National Security, 
uh, Honorable Kanapa, you agree with me that um, abduction and kidnapping has never been uh, the case in Ghana. And uh, we are also being told that some rebels are threatening to come to this country. Some of these things are curtailed or they are brought an end. And then my second question goes to Mamitiwa. They are brought an end. And then my second question goes to Mamitiwa. Madam, if you look at Facebook, you are always, people are saying that you should resign. People are saying that you have not done enough. People are saying that you have not given us information. I mean, want to find out from you. Um, why did you come out with a uh, statement saying that the girls will be found? If you did say that, I don't know for sure. That's what people are saying. And we are not seeing them. What are you doing to make sure that these girls are rescued? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Abu Mubarak from uh, ISD. Uh, some, um, the, um, some reports in a section of the media saying that um, the national security relied on um, certain data provided by the Canadians, and then they also relied on in some Canadian intelligence to rescue the, the Canadians. Can you um, clarify that for us? Okay. So let me respond to this first set, and then... Um I'll cut to you. No, those reports that national security relied on satellite data from the Canadians is not correct. As I've mentioned, no foreign assets involved in this um, operation. Um, there's another question about safe are we to the national security minister and one to the CID board. Uh, what are you doing? I'll take it in two parts. I have mandates to um, uh, speak, and that's why I'll take it in two parts. As I've mentioned, there are ongoing operations on similar matters. Yeah and the security apparatus encourages that we should be circumspect in our reportage and our public conversation because it has the potential of compromising some of the ongoing questions. I'll tie that to the first question about is there more emphasis on Canadians or foreigners than on Ghanaians? No. The equal level of attention is being given to all of these crimes regardless of which national is involved. Uh, but as has been mentioned, the security agencies require a lot of information and space so that they can do their uh, intelligence gathering and uh, deal with these matters. And hopeful that we can all support them by ensuring that they get that information and space and then they can get to the bottom of um, these matters. Reference the question, how safe are we? A couple of days ago, uh, I think a statement that we issued from this ministry on behalf of the National Security Ministry. They have just finished um, an appraisal. Um, and they have come to the conclusion that there are no imminent threats, no actionable intelligence, and that the uh, risk uh, and crime profiles of our country uh, have not changed, and there are men and there are necessary logistics and elements are available to them and on the ground to ensure that uh, our city is upheld. And I think that that position between the time we put our statement and now has not changed. Where were they rescued? Kenyasi in a suburb um, of Kumasi in Shanti um, region. What is their situation? As I've mentioned, they have been brought to Accra. They are currently going through the necessary, um, may I say, engagements with doctors and psychologists, etc. Because you do agree that this is a very traumatic um, experience um, for them. Those are responses we have to these first set of questions. One, yeah. Melvin, two, three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, I have two questions. Um, one is a bit linked to the question asked about the tidy girls. I just want to know um, the security measures or tactics that were deployed in rescuing these uh, these Canadian girls. You want that to know are, the tactics deployed. Like, I mean, like how succinct the way and the rescue of these girls were successful, and then the security have been hunting and searching for the tidy girls, and they have never been successful. And two, recently the police came out with a statement inviting the, the, chair, the chairman of the National Democratic Congress for the second time, and then there were reports that some of the sources so far arrested cited him as a mastermind, the alleged mastermind behind the kidnappings. So now I'm wondering, the alleged mastermind behind the kidnapping has been granted a bill yesterday out, and those who are part or su suspected to be kidnappers are going to be beyond police cell. If some of us who are purpose to be an ordinary person, would the police grant, grant him bill so swiftly in a day? 
or because he's a politician? Uh, my name is Francisco Cuchero, I vote for Associated Press. Yeah, if you can just go directly. So, yes, sir. Yeah. In all this, was there any mention of ransom? Thank you. Yes, sir. So one, two, and then we'll go for another set. Thank you very much. My name is Anas Saidu. I report for CTFM. Um, briefly, the, we understand there was another arrest in connection with uh, kidnapped tidy girls. Can you give us some updates on it and what has happened over yeah. the years? Okay. And secondly, on the identities of the five uh, Ghanaians and the Finn Nigerians who were arrested, there are initial reports connecting some or one of them to a particular group of people. Can you give us the identities of the suspects, I mean the eight suspects in custody, and whether they actually are linked to uh, any pro-government group? Thank you very much. Yes, take uh, the last one at the back. Thank you. My name is Mark Solofori for the Chronicle newspaper. Please, you mentioned there were gunshots fired at the premises. I would want to know who side started, whether the police or the corporates. Thank you. Um, so let me respond. Melvin, I can't go uh, into too much detail on the various tactics that were used uh, by the security um, agencies. Um, the outline I can give is what I've given you uh, currently. Um, uh, uh, Associated Press, no, no ransom was paid. No, no ransom was paid, no ransom was discussed in this um, matter. Um, our security agents followed the earlier intelligence reports, did their work, and then got to the conclusion of this matter. No ransom was discussed or paid uh, between our security agencies and these persons. Now, um, there's a question about one of the persons arrested in Togo, as reported last week, that is believed to be in connection with the Tadi uh, girls matter. Um, I think because the story has come out and indeed today has been remanded by the courts, uh, yes, we can confirm that. Narrowly, the preference would have been that all of these ongoing operations are kept quiet because as you keep talking about it and public things about it, you keep alerting other people that the security agencies may be on to. But because that is out, um, yes, we can confirm that one. But that is also evidence that the security agencies are working on that and other related matters. That's all we can say. Uh, and like I have said, there are active operations going on, and therefore we encourage all ourselves to be circumspect. And you provide information if you have it. They have demonstrated that they can do a good, provide information, and let them do um, that job. Um, the gunshots, as we understand it, first came within the premises. I think in the outline that I gave, um, I mentioned that uh, as well. As I mentioned, the, um, the security agencies are still um, ongoing, tidying up on particular uh, operation. Yes, some arrests have been made um, in connection with this. We have no brief that says that this person, that person is associated with this church or that religion or this uh, political party at this uh, point in time. We do not have any such brief that associates any of them with any political party at this point in time or with any church or with... I've heard people saying this one belongs to this football club, that one belongs to that football club. We don't have any such uh, brief as we speak to you now. Let the authorities do their investigation and prefer the necessary charges that they prefer against these persons. We'll take a final round of questions and we'll wrap up. One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three and we'll wrap up. I just stand. My name is Nashika Caesar. I work with City FM CCTV. My question is, uh, what role specifically did the Canadian team play in the rescue of the girls? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Cliff, Ekufa, right for the Ghanaian Times. My question is, uh, do we anticipate um, rounding up more people in connection with the Canadian a kidnapping or the eight the eight we arrested um something up for us 
Come again. I didn't get your question. Well, I want to find if we are looking at arresting more people in connection with the arrest of um, the kidnapping of the Canadian girls or the eight we have arrested the three uh, the three Nigerians and then the uh, five uh, Ghanaians uh, sums it up for the operations okay yes yeah. thank you very much um, yeah. I'd want to um, you, there was a mention of a suspect that's injured um, I don't know if it's in direct connection with this Canadian operation, and does it change the total number of people involved in this? Does it still remain eight? And then um, on the issue of how safe we are, if we say that there's no actionable uh, what, threat, in actionable intelligence, intelligence yeah. against that, um, how, what is the assurance, what is happening in neighboring countries? It's very difficult to accept that, and so we would want some more clar clarity on that. Then, um, just finally, um, how soon are these guys going to be uh, arraigned or prosecuted? Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's, I'll give you the final question and then we'll wrap up. I don't want to take too much of your time. Okay. There will be subsequent briefs as there is more information, but after this, we'll leave it here today. Yes, sir. My name is Blessed Soga. I work with uh, Class 91.3 FM. Um, obviously, we are not in ordinary terms, and uh, as we have um, some members from national security with us, uh, are we likely to experience a change in the security setup? across the country. What does that mean? Um, what does are, are we likely change of uniforms or are, what? Are, what we, does that mean? are we <laughs> are likely to have uh, snap checks um, the I mean some border set up uh, or I mean uh, are we going to have new arrangements going for uh, that the nation of visibly Yes. Okay. This are, we new see, arrangements. are we going to see some changes? Very well. Uh, and then in April, the CID boss told us um, at an official press conference that they know the whereabouts of the kidnapped girls. Uh, do we have any updates ever since that press conference? Thank you. Yes, I have an update I'll give you. What role, what specific role did the Canadians reported to be in town play? It is our understanding that the um, Canadian team was in town to explore ways by which they could help um, in uh, rescuing these young ladies. Uh, but that was not necessary, as our security um, apparatus was on the ground and had clarity on um, what to do. So, yes, it's true. There was a Canadian team in town. They were in town, we are told, to explore ways by which they could find other ways of helping. Uh, with this matter. But as we are informed, our uh, people on the ground had clarity on what to do, and the result is what um, uh, you see currently. There's a question about, do we expect more arrests? Well, it's the interrogation that will determine who the masterminds are, etc. So the interrogation is ongoing. It will determine. Does the injured person, the number of persons involved in this, and is that separate? No, it doesn't. It is one of the two Nigerians who um, was um, may I say, um, apprehended at the premises where they're holding these persons, and it doesn't change um, the numbers. Uh, reference to general terrorism conversations, I think Ghana has an anti-terrorism plan, a broad one. Um, first part of it is to prevent it. Prevention requires a high level of awareness um, among people so that people will report strange things that they are observing if they observe any strange persons in their communities trying to recruit people for all sorts of um, enterprises. And I think already the level of awareness is coming up. You've seen people, particularly in our northern regions, reporting, forgive the pun, won't recruit you to help us control with the public education and the public awareness creation that, um, yes, you're right, times all over the world are changing and so we need to be on their alert and quickly inform the security agencies who have proved that when they are informed, they can act. Do inform them, and whatever they need to do, they will do. We actually have some material on the anti-terrorism program, particularly the prevention side of it, and we'll do a distribute some to you and ask you to, um, while you play music and do everything, find some small time and put that one out um, for us as well. I'm sure that's too much um, to ask. How soon would persons be arraigned before court? The Constitution is quite clear 
uh, you can only hold a person without um, maybe a court order or something for uh, up to 48 hours. So the necessary uh, uh, legal protocols will be followed. Country. I'm not briefed on any such expectation. If I do get a brief of that, I'll do well to um, keep you updated on it. And there's a question about whether or not there's an update on the Takrade girls. I think I mentioned earlier that as some of you reported, which we had hoped would not have been reported, just last week some arrests were made in connection with that. That tells you that there's an active operation ongoing there. If anybody has further information, you can please do well to make it available to the security agencies. And the same level of seriousness that they attach to all of the others that have happened recently, which they have dealt with, they are applying that same level of seriousness. Colleagues, we want to thank you, and we want to ask you to continue to be supportive of the security agencies by giving them some more information. But also, most importantly, let our citizens know that we are safe. Like everywhere else in the world, sometimes things happen. But the important thing is how the security agencies quickly deal with it. And as our people have demonstrated, they can deal with it. So instead of uh, perhaps doing things that make people scared, we should rather um, exude some more confidence. I want to say particular thanks once again to the Honorable Albert Kandapa, National Security Minister. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for your leadership. Uh, the Honorable Brian Champon is not here, but we want to extend our thanks to him as well for uh, his participation in all of these exercises. We want to thank um, COP Mamiya Tiwa Adudankwa, Director General CID, ACP Kwesi Fori, we want to thank you as well. Mr. Henry Korte, you are their boss. Um, you are the Deputy Minister for the Interior, yourself and your minister as well. We say uh, thank you. DSP Azugu, Kenelo Poku, who is not here uh, as well. We want to say thank you to the SWAT team as well um, for the kind of work that you have all been putting up uh, there. We are most grateful. Thank you. The ministers and our guests will go through our left door and then we'll um, exit for a quick debrief upstairs and then we will subsequently exit. Thank you very much. that went uh, that were kidnapped an operation started yesterday but this was after enough intelligence had been gathered an operation started yesterday one Ghanaian was arrested that was yesterday and he led the security operatives to where the girls were uh, housed now the house owner a Ghanaian has also been picked up uh, by the security uh, officials or security operatives that undertook the operation. When they went into the house, uh, specific timelines were given and de specific details will be on our website and then also in our subsequent bulletins. But according to the information minister, when they got to the premises, it was surrounded and then at a specific time, they breached the doors and went in. When they got in, gunshots were fired from within the premises towards the security officers that were going into the premises. And uh, so there was an exchange, and then one person was slightly injured. And they've also been um, arrested so in total, five Ghanaians and three Nigerians were the masterminds or the brains behind this process of the abduction of the two Canadian girls. The girls have been flown from Kumase, specifically Kenyase, where they were, to Accra for further um, treatment. And uh, information we have is that uh, they are currently safe. So further information will be given about the Takrade girls. Very little information was given, but the minister said that works are ongoing behind the scenes and in our subsequent bulletins when we do get further information we'll bring that to you my name is martin the serial data thank you very much stay